Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Black Eyes with me, Alpha Pi Omega, and Tempara of Japan. So in the last episode we managed uh, to encircle a large amount of troops in this era and we're actually pushing forward today to get more of them uh, back into this region where we can eliminate them. But in the meantime, I have forgotten about this one last straggling division of Riku Sentai, which needs to be moved over here, at which point we're gonna get civilian works for. <laughs> but no, at which point uh, we will uh, be able to start a naval invasion, which we will do right about now. But I'm wondering... Guerrilla Fighter, a moment... Position expert. Division attrition is great. Aggressive assault would be great. Uh, logistics expert would be also great. But let me see this. Can you have forts? It does have fort. So while that might be a bit stupid, I'm thinking we might gonna go with the fortress buster. Yeah, because so that will allow them to deal with such cases. Okay, the moment they get out of this province, we are going to start planning the naval invasion. And with civilian works, we have officially moved beyond reduction in um, stability. So we no longer need to worry about that. I'm f thinking division attrition... A division attrition might be great. Good construction. Working on military production too. Construction is ahead of time. So that was a lot of resource manufacturing things that we wanted. Like vacuum sealed food. Oh no. No, no, no. Portable fuel cans. That is something that we really need. A robust liquid container made from pressed steel. It was designed for motor use to hold 20 liters of fuel. The development was a significant improvement on earlier designs, which required tools and funnels to use, and it contained many innovations feature many innovative features for convenience and use of robustness. That is what we need here. Yeah, that is definitely what we need here. Okay, our units are still being pushed in some of these areas. Quite the strong one. But once you guys can hear, you will hold it. And this will allow us to eliminate these three. Four divisions, actually. Yep, one of them is already gone. That's how you do it. This is what's going to happen here as well. I mean, it is definitely not ideal. What if he did this? Yep, that will work as well. This is gonna be a huge loss for them. Wow! We actually got enough fuel in here and we're pushing in this area as well rather surprised by this uh, well the question is what now can we Yeah, we can. We can push you out of there. Which unit is... This is the third, first, second... So the... F Wait, we got two? Two twos? Okay, either one. Either way, one of you is moving over there. And that's gonna 
we that. And we finished murder production too. Great. That's exactly what we wanted. That's another boost to our war effort. These are ahead of time, so we can just go with improved oil plan. We will need to start building oil plants. How much fuel are we getting from an oil plant at this point? 81. Because 25,000, that is just insane! It's never gonna be worth it. Jesus Christ. Uh, chemical industry... F chemical industry free. That's good. Factor output plus 4%. Supply plus 5. Synthetic construction speed plus 5. And re refinery construction speed plus 5%. That's exactly what we need. Okay, so the... Uh, Fight in the north is being won. These guys are dying. We run away about it, but yeah, big success. And you guys made it out. So let me just plan an evil invasion now. Uh, let's plan it from here. To here. Let's make it happen, guys. Okay, you're holding the border really well. I think we might be able to retake this area. Okay, this is also being really secure. Yeah, I like that. Okay, they're breaching in this area really heavily. We need reinforcements, so you're gonna go in here. I don't mind. Uh, what did I do? No. Wait, what did I click? I clicked. You're not part of this. You're gonna be the part of this is the fifth general army. So you're part of first, 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 fifth, I guess. So go there. Yep, these guys are toast, and that is lovely. So you guys get in here. We are really playing a bit of a different type of game now, uh, trying to incur maximum casualties on our enemies because they are unable to hold. You guys can push these guys out. I think one of the tanks can... No, actually no, we'll just... We just support it because this tank, after taking that area, can take this one as well. Okay, you can go there. Yep, the entirety of the north is being freed up by us. And that means we will be good. Okay, these are Hills Provinces. You go over here and I'll retake this area. We're actually moving. Okay, then that makes sense. I didn't realize that it was reachable by land. Okay, you attack over here. You guys not getting... Oh no, you're getting fuel. Just very little of it. Okay, so we... Oh god, they're retreating into this area? Really? Uh, 
When will they get there? 14 days. We will be there in 11 days. Okay, at least that's a consolation. And we're murdering them. So this region has been already taken. We get in here. This is gonna be a really nice, easy fight. Okay, now again, they're getting a bit more fuel. I'd like to send them somewhere where they would do us a bit more good. Xinjiang here. I've yeah, lost this entire territory, but they lost, I think, a bit more. Okay, hills, 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 forests. So my bet is, if I put you over... These divisions will attack here. If I put you in here... Uh, and have you attack in this region... We'll get pretty good results. Uh, how many casualties do they have now? 4.4 million. That's absolutely crazy. I mean, it's nowhere near the amounts that they had in real life, but... Magnetic mines. Don't mind if I do. So now, this is naval mine and points. We want this one. Acoustic mine. More damage. The type of naval mine detonates when it, uh, when its sensors detect the noise of nearby ship. Which reminds me... Uh, we need to do something with you. So these destroyers are gonna join this here you. And you guys were just finished, so you refit. And oh we got 31 Taco class and Tony class. Well, we got a lot of those tonic class cruisers, so I think it would make sense to deal with those first. Uh, we've done certain things to them already. Okay. So you can get upgraded, you can get upgraded. Uh, you can get upgraded. You are at max, yeah. Okay, so it's just, just these things. Okay, so better range, I don't think, better acoustics, and that's it. Yeah, no radar or anything. So anti-air will go up. Light and heavy attack will go up. It's a super cheap upgrade. Uh, seven arm experience. Uh, 1941 donut class. Refit. And let's have all the donut class. The it. And let's have you guys undergo it. And that's it. And then next one will be the Fuso Ise class refits. Those one will be a bit more extensive. Just look at this. It's absolutely ridiculous. You will get there in five days, at which point this is going to be a huge, massive battle. Okay, we need you to push into this area. Okay, 
Okay, this has been secured. We can go up and support this. You guys are doing good. Yeah, and wow, we can even encircle some of these divisions here if we're fast enough. Just go there. Don't let me force you. Okay, how are you guys doing here? Oh, someone mentioned some time ago that I might be... Yeah, no, I'm doing it right. Okay, someone mentioned that I... Uh, maybe I have done that in the past, that I was building a spy network in a region that uh, belonged to the warlords and not to China proper. Could have been. Yeah, this won't work if you guys aren't cooperating. Um, not enough manpower. Oh, it's the radio. Okay, you know what I'm thinking? I'm gonna ask uh, China for help with garrison support. Yeah, 156,000 men is about right. It's gonna give us back our own manpower. Okay, and the ascension of the throne is finished. Amazing. So we get 100 political power. And we could expand Manchurian railways. Mandate of Heaven requires what? Expand Manchurian railways. Okay, sure. This is a stability thing. The Manchurian infrastructure needs drastic expansion to carry the load of increased industrialization. Okay, you guys are getting in here. And they're trying to get more units in there, but we're doing our own thing here. Okay, well, we were pushed back, unfortunately, but... What can we do? War propaganda manifests this in a hand over territory. Okay, let's hand over territory and considering the amount of factories we have, I think we're gonna start doing stuff like these. Uh, they will take a ton of time, but eventually they might be really good. So, okay, develop South Sakhalin oil fields. I think that's actually our own territory. So let's do that. We're gonna get more oil. And in Suilon. Okay, that's over here. So we're doing that one well. Um, I don't think we need any of these. They're just any any number that's actually really high. 22, 28, 4, 36, 42, okay. 50. Okay, and it's deep in that territory. So we're gonna do these two. And that's gonna take away probably one of our construction lines. It did, okay. Hello. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Because you guys are a bane. Yeah. They're gonna push into this area, at which point we are going to eliminate them all. Sure. Issue an ultimatum to Liberia. I am supporting that 100%. Hello there. You will stop. We just need you to hold this for long enough. 
until we... Yep, this is what we needed. Nice. You guys can actually go there, yep. We're pushing them out. Yep. This is gonna be a massacre. Uh, we can get the last advisor now, or someone over here. Naval theorist, please. No. <laughs> sea warfare. What about here? Someone concealment. Invasion defense. Naval strike. I feel like we would really do well to get this guy, because that's going to be super important for us eventually. Sort the efficiency. Uh, wait. We don't have a chief of navy. Capital ship attack and screen attack and navy organization. You, you are our chief of navy. We have to have a chief of navy. Okay, so this area is secure, and we will soon be able to launch that naval invasion. Guys are going into place. Oh snap, they're actually doing their best to strike at us here. So in a moment you guys get... Yeah, we need to, need to get rid of these guys. Which ironically will be best done by attacking here and encircling them. Okay, well it's sort of a messy situation but we can think about it as a bait and switch. Like this was all part of the plan. Yeah, I totally meant that, guys. It is. It has been always the part of the plan. Okay, you need to move in here. Okay, you can. We don't need you there at all. You can actually go in here. And we'll soon control this entire area. Just one more day, and we'll be able to deal with this. Okay, you guys will stop this, and instead we'll send you in there. Which, you would have guessed, should do more than it actually is doing, but there are not. We do have ports here, so it's not a major, major issue, but... I'm a little bit... Yeah, there I have a huge terrain penalty here. You know what we could do? Screw it. Let's attack here. And the last division, where's the last division? Okay, that one actually go here and cut off this one teeny unit and we're gonna encircle it and destroy it for its audacity to attack us. Here we go. You guys get on your way. We do have a naval invasion support here. I never turned it off. So that is absolutely fine. Okay, we've 
pushed you out completely. So we just get in there. You can support it. Or not, just play hard to get, I guess. Okay, you were supposed to scramble them. Oh, we'll free up so many units here. Foreign peace deal, sure. Sure, 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 I'll take it. Okay, how we're succeeding here is a little bit beyond me, but Commonwealth of Australia assumes responsibility for colonial holdings. In an attempt to stand up to the increased threat against British holdings in Southeast Asia, the colonial territories of Singapore and Borneo have been transferred to the Commonwealth of Australia. Okay, with the goal being the Commonwealth's first and best line of defense in the Pacific. The Commonwealth of Australia assumes full responsibility for military and administrative preparation in the case of fighting in the region. Presumably intended to counter the imperial ambitions of the Empire of Great Japan, the Commonwealth of Australia will no longer be entirely reliant on the efforts of its former colonial overlord to protect their shores. Okay. Speaking of which, less imports needed. Yeah, we're doing really well. Less imports needed here as well. The fall of Sevastopol. I haven't checked them. In a while, yeah, Kiev is now deep within that territory. Sevastopol has been taken. The heavily fortified city of Sevastopol, base of the Soviet Black Sea Fleet, has finally succumbed to a German attack. Its loss will severely hamper any Soviet attempt to contest the Black Sea, and the fall of the city is regarded as a significant German victory. An edict has already been issued from Berlin, stating that the city shall henceforth be known as Feodorikshafen, after Feodorik the Great. Okay, show dice, that's our ribbon dice, and let's get the systematic damage control. I mean, that gives us better semi-modern damage control, we lower the chance to get a critical hit, and reliability goes up. And it's a bit ahead of time, but that one is really important for us. Get in there, guys. Get in there. Really get in there. Okay, you can actually really force them back on this. Oh, wow. They actually even took Yum Jink. And we just got another division. Okay, you can deploy as well while we're at it. And how are we doing on equipment? Wow, only 99 heavy artillery missing and only 105 infantry guns. Radios are almost done. 500 tankets, so that is an issue. White fighters down to hun minus 129. Really good. And are you telling me? That we have enough heavy trucks. Where are they? I must see that with my own eyes. Wow! We do have enough heavy transport trucks. I can't believe that. Huh. What a pleasant surprise. Okay, so the 5th defensive army needs one of you. Or 5th general army. Uh, which are stationed over here. Uh, so you're gonna go straight to Minho. And you are going to be assigned to the second general army, actually. Because that one is also in need of reinforcements. 
So let's send you in here. And then subsequently you're gonna go over there. Wow, we've already taken Pan Yu. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Uh, okay, I didn't even see the fight happening. Uh, so now the question is where we're going. I was thinking here. Because if we could take this supply hub quickly enough. So two of you will protect this area. And two of you will go this way. And the other two will go here and here. Okay, well, other than the fact that they've cut us over in this area, I am really happy with progress. Oh no, you didn't. And no, you aren't. You are taking this. You get back in here. We attack Galan. And they're retreating from here. This entire line has collapsed for them. Okay. Okay, okay. So you really don't stand much of a chance here. Okay, and these are hills, so there's no point in us not taking that okay I have been really calm about the situation but I no longer am because this is getting ridiculous now let me just make sure that they uh, don't force us to do anything stupid Now you can go over here. You go this way. You guys can actually start attacking here. Because the marine unit over here is going to deal with that. That is, I believe, their important supply hub in here. If we take that, this entire area might be a little bit of a death sentence for them. Okay, the area around... nice, we took it. I actually go there. You go this way. You know what? This is a much better target for us. You go like so. And we do our best to encircle here. Yep, we're recovering this. And I have a feeling that we might actually do really well. And then why did you guys come? Oh, you were. Ah, your support. I forgot about you. So, what happened over here is that we're encircling. 
Okay. A huge chunk of their army is being encircled here. So now it's time to finish this. Yep, the entirety of the north is falling apart for them with the destruction of that army. Uh, I say we try to get this area under our control. There's a wide open territory here. Yeah, a massive counteroffensive is the right way to go now. Support. Nice, okay, a good place to end this episode. Uh, we have once again pushed their casualties by a million to four and a half million. The Chinese Soviet Republic is going to collapse imminently. Uh, they have no more defenses. A huge amount of divisions have been encircled here. It's what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I'm so happy that this actually came to fruition. 17 division, that is a huge chunk of their army. They're gonna lose uh, right here. Uh, with a little bit of work, we are also going to encircle some enemy divisions over here, uh, which I'm happy to say might happen. But what we'll need to do is work on this area, because honestly, they've actually managed to do a bit more damage here than I give them credit. Um, not that, you know, it would hurt us too much, but uh, they destabilized the entire region. I've been really lenient with the strategy of, like, let them have the territory if they will waste their men for it. I mean, it's definitely bringing quite a lot of fruition when you look at their units. They just don't have a single unit that would be full on equipment. But you know, there is a limit to what we can take and ender, so we'll need to be a bit more decisive. But I still think that we are doing great. This massive offensive is gonna take a large chunk of their territory. We're gonna eliminate them in here with a bit of luck in here and there won't be much that they can do to stop us. So, thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you in the next episode with more Hearts of Iron 4 and Empire of Japan. It's 1st of November 1941, and China is crumbling.